a crucial question for currency traders. How big are the interest rate differentials between currency pairs? It seems like such a simple question, but the answer is complicated because there are many different ways in which to measure those interest rate gaps. And each way of measuring them comes up with different answers. Here we look at four different ways to measure interest rate differentials and what those measures are telling us about the currency market right now. Way number one, central bank rates. Subtract one country's central bank rate from another's and you get the difference. Simple, but the problem is that only major financial institutions deal directly with central banks. The average currency trader does not. Way number two, overnight index swap rates or OIS. OIS rates exist for many currencies and closely track central bank rates. Way number three, interest rates calculated from interbank rates, such as ICE LIBOR. Historically, interbank rates were the most commonly used measure of interest rate differentials. However, these rates are based on surveys of lenders, and they may not reflect the interest rate differentials that currency traders experience in the market at any given point in time. Also, interbank rates have been discontinued for several currencies. Way number four, the currency markets themselves. An applied interest rate differential can be calculated from the difference between the value of a currency in the spot and futures market. For example, CME's FX swap rate monitor calculates the difference in the implied interest rate differential between CME FX futures and CME FX links central limit order book. What's curious is that when these ways of measuring interest rate differentials are compared, the currency market measure consistently showed a larger interest rate gap between the US rate and the foreign currency rate than did the central bank rates or the OIS. In other words, US interest rates appeared higher relative to other countries when observed in the currency market than when seen from the perspective of the interest rate market. This was true across seven different currencies that trade on CME's FX swap rate monitor measured over August and September. Some of these gaps were as big as 20 or 30 basis points. Also, for the euro, the pound, and the yen, ICE LIBOR rates came closer to the FX currency swap rate monitor measure. However, here too, the currency futures market measure shows that the euro US dollar interest rate differential were on average five basis points greater than in the interbank measure and 14 basis points greater than in the case of Japan. Only in the United Kingdom did interest rate markets and currency markets agree on the size of the interest rate gap. This begs the question, why would the currency market imply that US rates are higher relative to other countries' rates so consistently when compared to the interest rate markets? One answer is that relatively higher US rates implied in the currency markets might reflect a global forward demand for US dollars. One thing is clear, those who trade in the currency markets and those who work in the short-term interest rate markets might want to keep a close eye on the interest rate differentials implied between currency futures and the spot FX market as an additional point of reference for their trades. I'm Eric Norland, Senior Economist at the CME Group in London.